this is Mark Gabor again. And to, now we're going to use the same gem data that we've been using in the previous two videos. And I want to use a moving average and exponential smoothing to do the forecast for October 2015. So let's just copy this block right here. And I have labeled another worksheet as MA and ES, moving average and exponential smoothing. So I'll come over here and let me paste this a couple rows down and I'll do that way. Now I'm going to use a three month moving average so I want to add a couple rows in here. So let's insert some rows and there we go. And what do I want to add? I want to get rid of this shading first of all because I don't think that's what we want. I want to go back here and add the last three days of September. The actual three days. Copy, go over here, put it right there. So now my forecast is going to change. Let me zero out the forecast because we're not using regression anymore. We're doing it one at a time. And notice how it changed my numbers. It just I'm dividing by zero and all kinds of things that it doesn't like to see. And what is my forecast? My forecast using moving average is going to be the average of the previous three actuals. So I get 29.24. And if I copy this all the way down, this is a more adaptive forecast. And you see what happens. By using the same format, it immediately calculates the MAD, the mean absolute deviation, the mean squared error, and the mean absolute percent error. And notice, doing it one at a time, just looking at the previous <coughs> three actuals and predicting the next day, it's much better than using regression over a six month period where I had um, uh, MAD was 5.17 and MAPE was 15.12, what did I get? I, I, it's greatly improved. And if I was to graph this data, you'll see that it, uh, it's adaptive and follows it. The problem is it only predicts one period ahead of time. So if I go here and I say insert and I draw the same line graph that we had drawn previously. Look how close it is. Look how, how close that looks. I'm not going to save it. So this is three month moving average. Let's make that bold. Let's make it maroon. Why not make it different? And make it bigger. So let's take the same.